It's hard to know how important to consider the Dark Lurker. Given just how optional and hard to find it is, it can't exactly be a keystone of Dark Souls 2's narrative. It's a boss that dwells in the deepest parts of the chasm of the Old Dark, the last remains of the layer of Manus from Dark Souls 1, whose darkness threatened to swallow the world. This is where the brides of the game's kings are spawned from, including the final boss of the game, but then what does this angel mean to that? Perhaps it, too, is a fragment of Manus, its soul certainly seems to imply it, and it casts a lot of dark magic, including a spell that visually recreates the dark sign, the symbol of Dark Souls as a whole. Perhaps this is Manus's virtues that remained when his fear and anger and wanting had all fled to become queens. Or perhaps it's a clever bit of visual commentary that humanity's better angels do not live in our kingdoms and castles, but that they wait for us in the dark, in the deep parts of our soul where we need them the most. Or maybe it's just an optional boss and they thought it looked cool this way. Sometimes art is like that. Subscribe here for shorts to see my detailed analysis of this character over on my main channel.